Hello boys and girls, how are you? I hope you are fine. I am your English teacher today and my name is Nargisa Katasartova. Children, in our lesson we will learn new adjectives and can describe our character. So the topic of our lesson is personality. Let's start our lesson. Let's learn new vocabulary and read their definitions. Optimistic Optimistic Hoping or believing that good things will happen in the future. Generous Generous To give more of something, especially money, than is necessary or expected. Hardworking Hardworking Always doing a lot of work. Shy Shy, nervous and embarrassed in other people's company. Sociable, sociable. Sociable people like to meet and spend time with other people. Romantic, romantic. To have to show to expressive feelings of love. Matches the words with the pictures. Example, romantic picture number three. Let's do this exercise. Time for checking. Romantic picture number three. Sociable picture number four. Shy picture number five. Hardworking picture number one. Generous picture number six. Optimistic picture number two. Match the words with their meanings. Example. You give a lot of time or money to people. Picture number six. Let's do this exercise. I'll give you some time for doing. Well, the time is up. Let's check in. You are very positive about the future. Picture number two. You are in love. Picture number three. You work very hard. Picture number one. You are nervous about meeting other people. Picture number five. You like talking to other people. Picture number four. I think you want to know more adjectives about personality. So, watch video, listen and repeat them. Let's start. Brave. Felix is brave. Curious. Smith is curious. Patient. Susie is patient. Friendly. Alice 
is friendly. Talkative. Moon Moon is talkative. Hard working. Felix is hard working. Lazy. Brian is lazy. Shy. Mimi is shy. Active. Active. Have a lot of energy and can do a lot of things. Intelligent. Intelligent. Possibility to think, understand and learn things fast and well. Selfish. Selfish. Don't think about other people. Think only about yourself. Honest. Honest. Always tell the truth. Thoughtful. Thoughtful. Quiet and serious because thinking about something. Confidence. Confidence. To be sure of yourself. Match the words with the pictures. Example, selfish picture number four. The time is up. Let's check. Active. Picture number six. Intelligent. Picture number five. Thoughtful. Picture number two. Confident. Picture number one. Honest. Picture number three. Match the words with their meanings. Example, you have a lot of energy and can do a lot of things. Picture number six. You don't think about other people. Picture number four. Selfish. You always tell the truth. Picture number three. Honest. You can think, understand and learn things fast and well. Picture number five. Intelligent. You are quiet and serious because you're thinking about something. Picture number two. Thoughtful. You are very sure of yourself. Picture number one, confident. Complete the sentences with adjectives. Example, Alia is a very generous person. She often buys me something to eat.
Let's check in. Alisher is a shy person. He often gets nervous when he meets new people. My new classmate likes reading a lot and he knows so many interesting things. I think he is really intelligent. I don't like Saddam. He always thinks only about himself and he never thinks about me. He is so selfish. This task is the same. You have to complete the sentences with the adjectives. Example, Aliyah is a very generous person. She often buys me something to eat. Let's begin to do. Time for checking. B. Maria always tells the truth. She is very honest and that's why she is my best friend. My father is a hardworking person because he spends a lot of time at work. I never feel confident when my teacher asks me the questions. I feel very nervous. You work a lot. Time for a rest. Just now sing a song our personality. Enjoy and repeat. Let's sing. Our personality, our personality. It's who we are. Personality, personality. It's who we are. Mish is generous, kind, confident, smart, helpful, caring. What's your personality like? Louise is shy, relaxed, hardworking, funny, patient, loyal. What's your personality like? Dima is creative, helpful, lazy, outgoing, smart, kind. What's your personality like? Our personality, our personality. It's who we are. Personality, personality. It's who we are. Do you believe that a birth date can say who are you and what are you good at? It also can help you to understand what you need to learn to become better. First, you need to know your birth number. For example, your birthday is on 15th December 2005. Add up the numbers in your birthday like in this example. 15 plus 12 plus 2005. And you have to add all the numbers in this example number six the birth number in this example is six now count your birth number your birthday is on the 5th january 2005 add up the numbers in your birth date like in this example Date, month, year. 5 plus 1 plus 2005. You have to add all the numbers. And in this example, number is 3. So the birth number in this example is 3. But you have to count your own birth number. Let's do it.
What is your personality? Number one. You are optimistic and know what you want to get in life. You like when you are the first and the best. You have good memory and can do a lot of things at the same time. Number two. You're good diplomats. You're tactful and generous. You're usually hardworking and sometimes shy. Friendship is very important to you. Number three. You're sociable and very often romantic. You like when people are happy. You are very popular and like going to the parties. Number four. You're hardworking. Your home and your family are very important for you. You like spending time in nature. Number five, you're active and intelligent. You like traveling and taking risks. You like learning new things and visiting new places. Number six, you're honest and romantic. You are unselfish. People know that you can ask you for help when they have problems. Number seven. You don't like noisy people. You can control your feelings and emotions. You're thoughtful. You have good intuition and imagination. Number eight. You can solve problems very well. You're confident and usually get what you want. You have your own rules for life. Number nine. You are very charming and have a talent to find new friends. You're generous and kind. You always try to help your friends. Just now do the exercise. Match the opposite adjectives. Example. Optimistic, pessimistic. Let's doing this task. Let's check. Honest, dishonest. Generous, mean. Hardworking, lazy. Thoughtful, careless. Confident, modest. Shy, brave. Sociable, unfriendly. Complete the gaps with the adjectives. Example, Sasha is the most optimistic person I know. Let's begin to do. I'll give you some time for doing this exercise. Let's check. The children always do their homework. They're very hardworking. Tom is very generous. He gives us money for every month. Nurbek goes to the parties and he talks to others. He is so sociable. She is very honest. She never lies. My cousin Lena never shares her candies with her friends. She is so selfish. We will continue to work with adjectives. Now you have to look at the pictures and choose the correct words. Let's start. Choose the right words. What do you think? Is the boy optimistic, shy or modest? Of course, he is 
optimistic. Is he unfriendly, shy or hardworking? Of course, you're right, he is hardworking. What do you think about this girl? Is she unfriendly? Is she sociable or is she thoughtful? Of course, she is thoughtful because she is thinking about something, well? How about this man? What do you think about this man? Is he confident, unfriendly or modest? If we choose unfriendly, no, it is incorrect. If we choose modest, no, it's incorrect too. Of course, he is confident. How about this boy and this girl? Are they mean? Are they dishonest? Or are they active? Think about it. If we choose mean, no, it's incorrect. If we choose dishonest, no, it's incorrect too, because they are active. What do you think about this boy? He is careless, intelligent, or hungry. If we choose careless, no, it's incorrect. If we choose hungry, no, it's incorrect too, because the boy is intelligent. Let's repeat all the words from our lesson. Optimistic, optimistic, generous, generous, hardworking, hardworking, shy, shy, sociable, sociable, romantic, romantic, active, active, intelligent, intelligent, selfish, selfish, Honest, honest, thoughtful, thoughtful, confident, confident. Thank you for your attention. The lesson is over. Bye-bye. Take care of yourself.